Welcome to another Mr. Jim's Hot Rod Barn video. Today I'm going to uh, do a little demonstration on mixing with some Rust-Oleum paint. Uh, use it for a lot of things around the shop uh, in the house. Uh, it works good on the truck frames. It uh, actually does a fairly nice finish uh, for something if you don't want to spend a fortune on automotive paint. Uh, so I'll actually today I'm going to paint a, uh, the front door for our house. So I took it down, but uh, I'm going to put it in a paint sprayer and spray it. So usually what I do, just uh, mix it down with a little uh, acetone and uh, get it to the right consistency and then put it in a paint sprayer. So usually about uh, maybe three parts of this paint to about one part of acetone and kind of thin it down, get it where it'll flow good in your in your spray gun and uh, it works really good the only uh, real drawback to using this is uh, it takes a long time to dry uh, so usually you need to figure probably a good uh, I'm gonna say probably about eight hours. sprayed and uh, actually looks pretty good so I'm gonna let it cure up and uh, on the back side of it I'm gonna wind up uh, using a stain and uh, polyurethane on the interior side of it but for the exterior we we'll just use the uh, rust-oleum with the thin down with a little acetone and uh, put in a you know a uh, gravity feed uh, paint sprayer it's a snap-on uh, spray gun but uh, comes out really good, uh, you know, and uses a lot less paint. Uh, all your little corners, everything get covered real well. You don't have missed spots and things you like you would with a with a brush or roller type paint, you know. And uh, you can really see the wood grain through the paint, uh, as you can see in the video here. Um, where you know, if you did it with a with a brush and a roller, it'd probably be kind of thick and uh, might cover some of that natural wood stain uh, wood grain uh, texture might just kind of cover some of that up and fill it in so uh, I'm real pleased with it I'm gonna see how it turns out once I get it all finished up and uh, we'll uh, we'll show you a picture of it once we get once we get it done <laughs> 